Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Wasteland, where last time we finished off horde based construction, and we also started working on some concrete, which we're going to need for upgrades for later on tomorrow. Today, however, we are up in the snow biome to retrieve a couple of supply crates. We'll start off with this one, just had to fend off five or six zombies that were lurking around here, probably attracted to all the smoke and noise, and hey, cobblestone cubes. We're about a couple days too late on that one. I'll pick through the garbage while I'm right here. Never know what you're going to pull out of these. I pulled a book out of one of these zombies here. Here it was Wild Wasteland Volume 3 Lord of the Limbs basically you're able to cripple opponents by hitting them in the legs or arms and this crafty skill magazine bundle here good for knives medicine and armor I also picked up another mercenary yesterday on the way home actually it's very early this morning I was driving through the wasteland and I heard some SMG fire off in the woods so I pulled off I drove into the wasteland a little bit roughed up the truck but I did manage to spend 15 grand on this new mercenary here. Well, some say mercenary, some say brother, because this is the Brotherhood of Steel after all. There's one more supply drop just over here, and of course there's just labyrinth of fences around here. Here we go, I can sneak in this way. Gotta be careful, I'm at 48% durability on my vehicle, and as far as I know, if this is- Whoa, 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 look out, yep. Zombies also attracted to the noise on this one. Man in Black is here. Mysterious Stranger, the Drifter, however you want to call him. Where is he? Oh, he's way over. That is definitely not the, the Mysterious Stranger. That is a group of bandits. Okay, what do we got here? At least two is... Oh, ow. Who was that? Oh, damn it, Steven. Trying to sneak up on these guys. Is that like a camp right there? All right, they're trying to kill the vehicle. They're trying to kill the vehicle. Get in, get in. And we got to get out of here. Yep, whoop. It's getting shot. Luckily, they're just hitting the fender and not the tires. Okay, just park it over here for a quick escape. And yeah, let's go secure this area. Oh, we've got the drop on him now. Yeah, I think that's a stronghold for him right there. So far, two down. There was another one with like a... Who's that over there? Regular zombies. Is there another one over here? Or maybe there was, but they've um, been eaten by zombies. Yeah, that's that appears to be the case. I can see his body over there. We got a ghoul here, and that cop is in a whoa, bad position. I'd rather tank the shot than lose our loot, though, you know? And, yeah, oh, here's the guy right here with the fire axe. Take him out. First of all, though, take that cop out. There we go, okay. I think the area is secure. Let's grab this loot crate before it draws in any more zombies. And that's good for a bunch of good stuff. Okay, we'll go through that in just a second. More important things to focus on right now. Uh, first aid situation is good. I'm actually healing. I think that's maybe something to do with my power armor or one of my perks. Okay, so was this whole place gonna just be infested with raiders or was it just like a little scouting party that we drove by on the outside? Let's just poke in here and see. Yeah, pretty quiet in here. I'm not sure if this was a safe house or what the deal was. They haven't even looted it yet. Maybe they were just stopping by to kind of check on it. One more thing that we have to do out here. Well, two more. But there's one more basically loot pickup, and that is Sarah's treasure over here. Interested in seeing what's in that. Oh, and a super vegetable stew and the raider ghoul leader there. He was packing lunch. Oh, jeez, and I'm just rolling through here and another airdrop is flying in over there. Oh, and I just rolled through here and I could have sworn, yeah, I heard a little bit of a grunt. That is a mutant settlement over there. Whoop. Okay, you gotta get away from the vehicle. Yes, this mysterious stranger is here getting headshots on mutants. Okay, buddy, let's go. Let's roll in here. We're gonna grab allies as well. Down and down. Who do we got with us? Godzilla, Rico, and Z Bark are with us today. And we are charging this mutant compound here. And whoa, whoa, whoa. There's definitely somebody in there. Bring him out, guys. Whoop. Helps if you get the guns reloaded. Also, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Blow that thing up. Set this place on fire. We're going to cook all the mutants in there. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I think I shot that one to death. We've got, um,. Okay, the situation currently is pretty good. You all good over here? Yep, taking out some zombies. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Club versus club here? I think I took him out. Nice, check the loot on him. He had some uh, ghoul bits on him. We got some stuff here, survival machete, some ammo. Meat bag is what that's called. Meat pile here. 
with some more loot in it. Wow. Okay, these guys have pretty good loot, don't they? Let me in the side room over here before this whole place burns down, and I definitely heard another... Whoa! There's another guy in here. Whoa! Well, you guys scared me. Yeah, here he is. Got him. Scott Allen, take him out. Come on in here, guys. Help me out. There we go. Good job. And we've got destroyed workbench here. And I think that might be all we get to for loot. Because this portion over here is flaming hot. Although I can hear a mutant in here burning, so... The plan is working. Just grab these books if I can real quick. Yeah, I can see him out through the, um, just through the broken portion of wall here. Okay, let's get out of here, guys, before we burn to death. Let's just circle around this way and make sure that that guy's down. Oh, there was the whole upstairs portion. <laughs> well, it's not going to be there for long, and there's no way for me to get up there. Yep, this place is going to fall apart. Oh, they've got a, a cage up there. And nope, nothing in there. That guy's probably been there for ages. All right, well, that's one way to start your day, torching mutants in their own home. And we're getting torched a little bit too. Do you guys need some help? Or I you probably shouldn't have gone into the fire like that. Okay, you guys almost burned to death. Can I heal you? This is not working. Okay, we cannot heal them. I'm just gonna pick them up because this is too risky. Almost burned to death. <laughs> we almost got a taste of our own medicine there. Okay, moving right along here. We've got airdrop, we've got treasure map. Where's my car anyway? There it is. Oh, okay. No, oh, no, 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 no. Stop that. Stop that. Destroying my car. There's also a screamer here. Let's just get out of here. Oh, 15% on the old truck here. I, I have like a couple of repair kits with me. Wow. Jeez, almost lost my ride too on top of everything else. Jeez, where are we going anyway? Just over here. All right, here's the dig site. Kind of like right here on the side of this lake, I guess. Okay, before we proceed any further, pump those two repair kits in there, and that brought us up to 82%. Not too bad. Gotta go through some of these books here. I got a lot of books. Forge Ahead, Furious Fist, the like. All right, let the dig begin. We gotta get some clay soil anyway. So we'll get some clay soil, we'll get the treasure, and we'll move on. Wonder how those screamers are doing over there at the bookstore. <laughs> Having a little bit of a mutant barbecue, maybe. Oh, and there we go. Got the treasure cache. Didn't take too long to get it. And we're in. For money and bullets. We are pretty much flat broke, too. I even put the money away because we didn't have enough to purchase a damn thing. So why bring it with me? We're doing a lot better now, though. Okay, last airdrop up ahead here. Yep, just watch out for the zombies. Okay, that's taken care of. What do we get? It's good for... The usual stuff there. We did get a farming bundle, though. Take a look at that later. Yeah, look at the storage space on this. I love it. Okay, and now we're off to see Trader Jen. Trader Jen is held up in a compound over here. I'm not sure if it's voluntarily or against her will, but I'm going to clear out the zombies and double check. Yes, I believe this is the spot right here. Just park it out front. We got to get our friends down for this one, though. Welcome to the team. You. Freak Show Master. We will also have bus driving for life with us. Okay, let's get in here and see what's up with Trader Jen. The last time I was here, I just poked my head in and I saw a lot of zombies. So let's kind of run through here and see if we can stir a few up. Dang, okay, there we go. And we're already in here clearing the area. There's this one more zombie actually is now attacking Jen. Whoop, we've got loose floorboards, I think. Are we clear here? Trader Jen, what is going on here? All right, there's more stuff downstairs. Right, I've kind of been in this area before. Let's fully clear out the area and we'll talk to Jen and see what she's up to. Oh, uh, we've already got one person in there. Bus driving's in there trying to loosen these guys up. I just, I don't have a pickaxe right now. I guess I could use the wrench. That works just as well most of the time. And, oh, there's a big loot chest in there. Wow. Look at the loot. Oh, this is where I almost fell through the floor, too. That would have been fun. Oh, my God. More strippers in here. Man, if I had a dollar for every stripper I've killed today, I could probably hire my own. Got some lucky goggles out of that and some steel boots. 
All right, are we looking done here? Yes, because that door came back here, which led to those couple of bedrooms, spiral staircase. Okay, door to the outside here, just getting a lay of the land here. All right, Jen, <laughs> you got to give me the scoop. What's going on over here? Well, according to Jen, she's being held here against her will. So it's a good thing we stopped by to rescue her. Turns out she actually has her own base in the wasteland, pretty close to where we live. So, you know, once we get all this stuff cleaned up here, we'll have to uh, drop her off over at her place and stop by there occasionally and see if she's selling anything or giving away any good quests. All right, looks like this is your place, Trader Jen. Here you go. No problem giving you a ride over here. I'll be by again someday to say hello, but for now, We've got work to do. All right, we're back at the base. I'm just getting some stuff organized and giving the base a little bit of a dry run here. We're gonna start working on upgrades pretty soon. I did stop by the cement mixer over by Rex and I picked up all the mix on our way to drop off Jen. And this is gonna take all day if I don't just jump down here and do this myself. So I was thinking about the vehicle here. There's no way for me to pick up the vehicle. Of course, I can't fit this in my backpack or anything. So I'm gonna have to park this place in a very safe location for Horde Night. And I really don't know where to do that. I could bring it over to the big rocket over there and have the Radcats look after it, but I don't know if I necessarily trust them either. All right, a little bit more stuff to go through. Look at this though. I found a an armor quadruple pocket mod. I didn't even know such things existed. Okay, I think I'm just about organized enough and ready now to begin some construction here. So the most important side is obviously this side right here. So to start off with, let's just make a nice little ring around the fighting position out of concrete. And I just want to see... I don't know if they're maybe going underneath our little deflector piece there. I, I don't know. We have to pick this up and actually study this for a second. So he comes straight up and... Oh, that... I don't know. I don't think that deflects the way that we wanted it to. I might have to jump out there and break that and see if I can come up with some other type of good block to put there. All right, just keep an eye out for wandering hordes. We could get ambushed here and it's and there's no way into the base on this side here. Okay, so deflector piece bust. I don't know, but just doing that there for now is, is gonna work. Let, let's see if I can, yeah, I can hit through that. I just hit the concrete in there behind. So as long as they're lined up nice and centered, I should be able to melee through that, set this in there permanently, and we'll upgrade all of this pretty much to concrete. This is all extremely important. My biggest fear is that a cop is gonna blow up here and destroy most, if not all, of the cobblestone in just one fell swoop. So ensuring that there's as little exposed cobblestone as possible out here is very important to me. I will also do the beam all the way over to the ramp. And I think I might as well do the ramp since, yeah, this is very important. And we might have to widen it a little bit. So I'm not gonna do the V2 plates that are on the side there. I'm just gonna do the regular piece down the middle so that if we have to do some demo work to widen it out, it saves us a little bit of work and time on that front. Okay, so that leaves me, we've used about a third of our concrete so far and that's, the most important stuff right there, I would say. Next up is going to be structural support. And we said we were gonna go at least to see how that was just degraded right there because some raging zombie has been trying to break it as well as that. I think that there was from the bear. Remember when the bear got his head stuck in there? Anyway, pretty much all these blocks here are important. They're conferring some kind of structural advantage to us. So I'm gonna upgrade all of them. And it's only as strong as the foundation. So I'll upgrade that as well. All right, that's as much of the mix as I'm willing to part with. I have 320 remaining, which I'll have to use for repairs. Okay, so the base is ready. <laughs> oh man, it doesn't feel ready though, does it? It definitely feels like it needs another massive concrete pass, especially for the difficulty horde that we're about to face here. I think if we're, if we have this, by the way, there was a, um, a great suggestion that I heard from another vault dweller that we should actually place this one half block lower. So we get the cube half meter right here. And that's actually the one that we want just like that. I 
think that'll work. That looks awful low, but yeah, let's try that. The idea being that this will punch upward toward the zombies and therefore be less likely to hit a demo zombie button. And I think what I'll do right now is just kind of test this out here. So if I set you down, I stand here, le big troll, and say, stay where I'm standing. You should go right into that corner. In fact, I think I'll probably leave you here for the day. Yep, so now, now we're in this loop. You're just gonna be shooting at that snake for the next forever. I don't think so. And I can't even talk to him because he's so laser focused on him. And you're also shooting the base, which you, you're just having a rough time right now, aren't you? Well, I think it's time for a little bit of a break. I need to get some breakfast and I have a power armor repair kit that I made with the last of my steel, so I can finally repair this glove armor that was completely broken. I found the culprit, and I finally have ended that cycle. We got a real mess to work on tonight, and that's getting all of this stuff moved into the new storages. I put the steel wall cabinets up. We're short by one, but I'll get it in there someday, and we should have enough room for a chemistry station here, probably an extra forge, and a couple of cement mixers up here once they are unlocked. Which, by the way, are they unlocked? Because I feel like I've progressed pretty far in the workstations tree here. No, we are at Anvil, but we're four away from the cement mixer. Oh, that would be really handy. And it looks like we have some time today to do some looting. I thought that base upgrades would take longer, but I burned through that cement mix in about two hours. I don't know how I'm feeling about this, though. This looks awfully vulnerable down here. Like... Like, really, it's 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 bad. I, I don't know about this at all, guys. All right, well, we'll see how it goes tonight. If, if the base collapses, you know, we'll have to reconsider some things. <laughs> a lot of things in our lives. Okay, well, I do want to punch, uh, test the punch turret, so let's try to get in here fast. No, 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 no. Stop that. Stop it. Stop shooting. Um, NPC, action, stop, craft, cancel repair kits, and... Can I do this? Halt. Halt. That worked. Great. Okay, is it gonna work? It still works, and he's still shooting. Resume. I guess resume then. I never did get to the bottom of exactly how these things work. They're just like little command options to help you communicate with your brothers. All right, I'm gonna gather up the sellable items, and I'm gonna go see if Johnny's around. Last time I stopped to see Johnny, he was off on a mission somewhere, and I'm not sure if he has returned yet, so just give me whatever I can sell here and the money. And I'll meet you over at the big rocket compound. Go Hello, say. Trader Johnny. Oh, he's got our quest reward for us, too. Okay, Guess well... Pay you now. Hmm, pipe bombs? Do we want to chance it with those? <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, I guess so. And your inventory today. Let's do the sell-off first, make some money. And last I saw you, you had some pretty good weapons. Yeah, Scar Assault Rifle here, a Pitchfork. Really, today, though, all I'm looking for would be... Oh, Molotovs would be nice. Ooh, that's pricey. Yeah, concrete mix. How much for all of that? 10 grand for 450? I can't do that. That's too much. So instead, I'll go with the Molotovs. I think that'll be a good purchase for us, and that'll do it good for choice. today. Maybe we should get a job while we're here, though. <laughs> These are all tier ones, but like even the tier ones are really difficult because you get straight ferals and rads. We'll try, oh, 11 Russell Circle. I don't think I've been there before. I'll take that one. Okay, so that was a bit of a bust. Maybe we should just do the mission and see what we get for a reward. Oh no, somebody got sniped out here or maybe he tripped or something and fell into the spikes. That is a crying shame. Although, do you have a backpack I can search through or no? Ah, crap. Oh, okay, so the mission is just through the forest this way. Th that's kind of hard going for the truck there. We'd have to uh, either sneak cross country or go all the way around through town. Yeah, I'll get the truck and we'll pull through. Well, I think this is the place right here on the left. Never seen a place quite like this before, though. Not sure if we're clearing this house or that house. Uh, it, it may just be a mystery until we hit it, so let's do it. Dog. <laughs> that didn't last long. Okay, so we're just here to kill zombies. I guess we gotta... I'll try this one on the left here. This seems more like tier one sized to me, so... And then if that falls short, we'll head into that house over there. It looks like a big house there, though. But that's just a feral mo there. Spider behind us. I might just set down our companion out here to kind of cover our rear. So just stay where I'm standing. And... Uh, that way I'll have some indication if some zombies roll up or a, a horde or raider group. Oh my goodness! That's the main loot right there. Which means I probably just stumbled into a main loot group of zombies. 
There we go. Five skill points to spend. I'm going to spend those in just a second here. Just kind of making sure the area is clear. There we go. Okay, we got to focus on things that are going to be good for Horde Knight. Yeah, we got five points. We'll do one into Rifleman and one into... What's well, a toss-up between Sniper? Pretty much just gives us 5% more damage with the scope. Or Concentrated Fire, which is just... Aiming down the site deals 5% more damage. I guess I'll go Concentrated Fire since I'm right here. And we'll check this main loot. Oh, the clear area is already over. We're done. Shotgun Weekly there, some shotgun stuff, shotgun Duckbill mod, and uh, some junk in there. And that's pretty much it. Electronics box here, some sellable stuff. Okay. That was quick and easy. Nothing else here? No, just a, a cramped little mini flat. All right, fair enough. Let's go. Kind of want to pull through down here and see what's going on. There's this long, like, cul-de-sac road that we're on. Very nice neighborhood. Lots of residential places. Yeah, we're having a hard time on the mosquito front here. Did I get him? Got him. Oh, Ethan. What's going on, man? Where did you go? There's like some alien technology that's causing him to like levitate or something. What the hell was that? Man, there's something really mysterious going on around here. Okay, watch that bear. A couple of zombies. I think I've cleared out the riffraff, but look, I can see this big kind of smoking thing out there. It's some kind of a structure, so I think I'm going to drive out there and see what that's all about. Maybe it'll provide some explanation to what happened to Ethan back there. And just be very careful, because I've already chewed through, I think, four repair kits today on this stupid truck that's not stupid i love this truck it's just it's very fragile i tapped a fire hydrant earlier and it was like 40 percent damage or something like that okay just park it here and we'll see what we're dealing with oh my goodness is that a space shuttle there okay that has got to have some good loot in it can you get out of the truck bed please or, or just stay in there either way it doesn't really matter I might need your help up here, though. Okay, so this is where everyone's getting all their alien tech from, isn't it? Yeah, we don't need zombies lurking around here. Kill that guy. Got a whole bunch of burnt zombies around here. This could have been what caused the big forest fire around here. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 bear. C can you tank him for me, please? Oh, my God, there are aliens behind it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, bad. Ow. Run, 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 run. We've got aliens and bears. Aliens and bears here. Whoa. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm leaving temporarily. Ethan, hold your ground. That's an order. All right, let's see what we can do here. Now, the two of us together. Our powers combined. Okay, we've got the bear. Let's leave the truck here. Okay, and I definitely saw little green men over here. There they are. A whole bunch of them. All right, Ethan, keep up with me. They are on to me. They must have crashed their space shuttle and they're out here crafting primitive clubs to um, defend themselves. Okay, alien, they didn't have any loot on them. Must be some sort of futuristic, you know, DNA identification process to get into their backpacks. All right, just prepare. There might be more here somewhere. Whoa, we've also got a raider out here. Yes, he must be out here trying to get some alien tech as well. Another alien over there. Okay, I've got the drop on him. I've got the range. They don't have the range. They got stupid clubs. That one's naked. He's got some corn seed. I don't know where, where that corn seed came from or how where I pulled it out from. <laughs> Best not to ask questions in that case. Okay, so can I get in here? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Searched, crashed, UFO, untouched. We're going to get some untouched technology out of here. An alien blaster with alien energy cells. Whoa. That is going to do great on Horde Knight. Check this out. Okay, I need to test this on someone. There's a cop over there. Perfect. All right, it's you and me, buddy. A duel to the death. Ooh. Oh, my. It has um an interesting effect to it. Okay, I want to conserve the ammo. We'll use that when it counts on Horde Knight. No, I think we're good here. Let's try to get the truck out without any further issue or damage and head back to Johnny for our quest reward. Okay, we're back at the big rocket here. Let's just park it outside and check in on Johnny. Hello, Johnny. I cleared Job out your well place done. for you there. Cobblestone, more pipe bombs, and that's pretty much it for interesting stuff there. I will take the pipe bombs then, and I'll get another job for another time. I guess we'll do... 
We'll do this fetch to the east, pretty close by Malone Residence. Try to swing by there on my way through someday. But for now, I think it's probably time to start getting set up for Horde Night. Just to make sure we have all of our ducks in a row here. And I think I'll just park it right over here at the grocery store. Hopefully this is out of the way enough that it won't be an issue. Okay, just getting organized here and getting the loadout set. Look at all the guns I have here on the hotbar. <laughs> and I just gotta collect up all the appropriate ammo types. But I'm pretty sure a Horde has lurked their way in pretty close by. And if I touch off a couple rounds, they'll probably all come running straight over. I just need to get Ethan into position here. Of course, you're stuck over there. Let's just grab you up and set you down and then have you... No, 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 no. Hang on a second. Let's get you into proper position and stay where I'm standing here on the flank side. And I will see what I can do to draw some of these zombies over. That looks like it did it. A whole group coming in over there and looks like most of these guys are coming in as well. All right, let's see how things go here for a little while. Okay, traffic appears to be good. Everything seems to be working. I can melee through the bars pretty well. Bodies get stacked up pretty easily, but that's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, overall, I'm really satisfied with how this is working so far. However, this soft group of zombies is nothing compared to what we're gonna see tonight. Okay, we have bullets for the scrap laser pistol. We have shotgun shells. We have whatever the laser pistol's taking. We have some 10 mil. We have some alien blaster rounds. A little bit of 5.56. Plenty of 7.62. I guess we're not using the two millimeter electromagnetic rounds or the plasma microfusion cells or the cryo cells, but the rest should come in handy tonight. Let's just stash away the tools here. We don't need these for Horde Night. All right, just gonna take a minute to see if I can shuttle some of this stuff into the stronger storages inside. Okay, and that's everything put away there. I did find a treasure map in a zombie body today, so we can read that, and that's sending me to the north on the slopes of that snowy mountain up there. That's fair. Grab that someday. I think everything else out here is pretty much empty. I guess we can grab up the campfire. Just temporarily set that here in the middle or maybe permanently. We'll see how this looks. Kind of like a centerpiece here. And I believe that just about does it. I think otherwise I am ready. I've got the ammo. I've got food. First aid kits. First aid bandages. Painkillers. Recog. Fort bites. Definitely also grab that pistol and the 9 mil. Give me repair blocks. Repair material. Even some wood would probably be helpful. And the nail gun. I'm gonna set up a couple of torches around here for some extra lighting tonight. Seal up the back end here so no one can see me, and I think if I'm crouching, no one will see me on the flanks. Uh, they might see our friends here, but otherwise, my friend, I think this is it. The second Horde Knight is fast approaching, so it's time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. say things are pretty heated here already. I have not seen a demo zombie, but I've seen plenty of cops. In fact, one of them blew up a second ago. The problem I'm having right now is that zombies are clustering up really badly, like dead zombies, bodies in front of me. So it's really obstructing my fighting position. What I'm gonna do to, to test is, oh, this is too far away, but I gotta wait for those bodies to go away before I can actually even conduct repairs. I mean, I can barely sneak through there. But yeah, I gotta check on everything here now and see if I can come around to the side and hit the other like saw teeth that are out there. But yeah, look, this is a huge problem here. All right, but everyone seems to be doing pretty good work. I don't see that the sledge is even, though the sledge is way down there. Oh, it got knocked off of its pedestal because I didn't upgrade it, huh? No, oh, that's a bummer. Ah, there's too many bodies in the way. Damn, okay. That's a problem. I wonder if I could like put a pipe bomb down here and blast him out of the way if that would work. I'm gonna give it a try for lack of any better idea and just stand back. Nope. 
a little bit of... Oh, I think I'm just burning the bodies. Okay, so I blew all the bodies up. That wasn't too bad. Hey, the fire appears to be out. Get back up here and continue shooting. Yeah, the shotgun, actually. I was hoping to get a base that was good with rifles, but the shotgun, I think, is where it's at for this place. Oh, but look, they're starting to do some damage here. They're doing damage everywhere, pretty much. Oh, boy. Oh, I made that steal by accident. My bad. All right, let's get some work done here. Right, slow and steady here with emphasis on steady make sure we're doing the repairs make sure that we are occasionally coming around to the side to light all the zombies on fire and also keeping on top of weapon repairs make sure i have enough ammo okay we're doing good here i'm getting into the rhythm just repair 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 when in doubt stop and repair we definitely have something of a bird problem there's nothing i can do i didn't even think about defending against birds so they're just doing their own thing up there Hopefully they won't do too much damage. The base is looking in rough shape. I don't know what stability is looking like right now, but the zombies are definitely doing a lot of damage to supports. Supports that I never upgraded to concrete. Okay, Molotov break here. Douse them. Look out. Also, try and airburst a pipe bomb down there for these guys. Take that. That didn't work. Less of that, please. I gotta do what I can do, though, because I can't really see through the fighting position that well. Here, let's get a little booster pad, and this is looking a lot better here. In fact, I think the bodies piling up here is somewhat preventing them from hitting the bars, maybe. Maybe those, like, big mamas soaking up some damage there. I don't know. Yeah, I'm liking this position quite a lot better, though. And again, the shotgun is the weapon of choice for this place. Luckily, I got plenty of shotgun rounds. I got plenty of shotgun parts for repairs. And I even have some skill in the shotgun. So we're doing extra damage. Whoop! We do definitely have a demo there, though. So what's the best for a demo? We'll just try to do some pop shots on them. Just try not to set off the button, please, gentlemen. Yeah, you heard me. I'm talking to you guys. He's back. Yeah, and the button is on the, the correct side. I was second-guessing myself there before, but that is correct. Okay, more fire, please. Luckily, I have a pretty good target right there for fire. And, oh, yep, yeah, I got radiated trying to do pipe bombs at the base of the tower over there. Yeah, we're sustaining heavy damage to the base, but we're almost halfway through the horde. If we can just keep this causeway patent and zombies flowing properly, I think we can hold them out. I've been able to keep on top of repairs up here really well. Yeah, that demo zombie is still here somewhere. He continues to be a massive pain and st stressor for me. I'm worried about this. Uh, go with the laser pistol maybe for a little bit and see if that can kill him. Oh, geez. He's trying to squeeze his way into the base now. I'm doing the best I can. I've, I've got him KO'd. Oh, there's two of them here now. Here, I'm going to stack up a couple of those, take that up so it doesn't catch on fire, and blast those guys out of here. And while they're down, set them alight. Yep, those demos are still alive, though. Here, I need my booster pad. This little trench here wasn't what we were looking for after all. But luckily, hey, both these demos here haven't set one off yet. Whoop, right in the base, right in the base. Look out. All right, another series of pipe bombs here. Two right in their face. Whoa. What was that? Oh, they're breaking stuff. Um, quickly then. Get the proper things down. Get the alien blaster here. Get out of here. Whoa, alien tech. Love it. Okay, get me that shape, that rotation. Set that back in there and... Uh, repair it up okay we've lost the outer block that i put out there that's a shame but nothing i can do about it now here pipe bombs i think only thing i have against those guys another cop's gonna blow up here ah geez yes i guess we can try the alien blaster against them yes that worked okay so the alien blaster is the demo killer all right continue with the repairs hold strong here 
Definitely making some weird noises out there. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, but definitely we've attracted more than just zombies to this horde night. And I thought the demos were bad. We've got mega scorpions, rad scorpions outside. Okay, how about a Molotov for him? That's gotta do something, right? I could probably just make him angry. All right, I'm doing the best I can here. Just taking pop shots, hip firing with the rifle here. Shouldn't be doing that, actually. We do a lot more damage when we aim with the scope, right? Oh, my bad. Okay, so we do have to aim after all. Yeah, things are looking reasonable down here. Continue with the fire for that stupid scorpion, though. Man, without the Brotherhood of Steel here, I, I think I would have been overwhelmed a long time ago. This is hectic right now. We've got basically all rads, rad cops, rad scorpions, uh, demos. Jeez, this is nuts. I haven't seen another demo though. I think we just had the two today and the pile of bodies at the front is growing larger and larger. And I can definitely see some craters down there. They are doing some real damage. We're gonna need a steel pad to go under the base to kind of soak up some of the damage eventually. It's okay, I have no doubt that by the next horde, we'll be into the steel age and, and definitely have cement mixers at the very least. We'll have cement mixers probably tomorrow. All right, where's that scorpion? He's still down there. I guess I'll just focus on the zombies then for now, or I could switch out that pistol there for pipe bombs and see if I could maybe bounce a couple down there for them. Here, try this. It's working. Yeah, that was a direct hit right there. Oh, and some fire to boot. Yeah, light them up. Honestly, I think we're burning dead bodies down there. That's what the fire is. We're just smoldering zombie corpses. Oh, I see somebody out there with a pumpkin on their head. Who's got the pumpkin head? I don't know, no time to dwell on that kind of stuff. Make sure this is repaired before I go and do some more throwing. Oh, th this is working rather well, actually. They're not able to do much damage. I don't know if that's because of the the pile of corpses in front or what is going on here, but it's working. That's all I know. More fire, please. Burn all those dead bodies. All right, we are at less than, we're about 45 minutes away from morning. Then we'll have to do clean up and hope that a screamer doesn't show up. That would ruin my day, probably. Get this place cleaned up and I think it's gonna hold. I think we're doing great. They are digging one heck of a hole underneath the base though. That's very concerning. I'm just gonna fill it with pipe bombs. Kill everything that's down there, including that scorpion. All right, I can see the sun coming up. We've got bees here, we've got birds, we've got all kinds of creatures and zombies still. So it ain't over yet, but I'd say we have them on the ropes at least. Okay, it's officially morning. There are no more zombies on their way to us unless a, str a screamer stops in. So let's try and just target the, the entrances there. And another one on this side here. Get everybody cooking a little bit. And we can begin the cleanup process with the alien blaster. Yeah, I think that having all the zombie bodies here is a, a blessing and a curse. Makes it harder to kill the zombies, but easier to defend against them. Kind of ironic, but I think that's the way it is. I've barely had to repair, other than when we had the pole blocks on the outside, those went fast, but these, um, the scaffolding ladder here has done really well. But see, look, I can't, I can't do much for melee right here without just whacking some bodies. Okay, let's get a mega crush going and I'm heading out the back. Should have mostly just a couple of birds. I know there were some birds here that were here all night long, thrashing around in the crafting room there. I don't know if they ever broke through or not. And then we have the crawler problem. See, oh, is that, were you the ones that were down here breaking all this stuff? Look though, we lost, Basically, there's no support from this column here, and everything is still, <gasps> well, I was gonna say still standing, but <laughs> it's pretty close over there. All right, let's wrap this up here. And all is quiet. Maybe there weren't as many birds as I thought there were. I could have sworn I saw more than one up there. Okay, quite a mess to clean up here, but overall, quite successful. I even like that. That's a cool pattern. It looks like, like a bulldozer scoop you know like upside down <laughs> pretty cool and did they do any damage to the crafting room i'll have to go check that out yep so much for our <laughs> entrance to the base but oh yeah you can see like the little cookie plate i put there that was a good buffer they didn't actually do any damage to the support column in behind these pole blocks did pretty well kind of same thing here just lots of like redundancy although 
There's definitely much work to be done. We'll have to fill all of this in down here as well. Yeah, it's gonna be a process, but it'll keep us busy. Yeah, lots of damage up here. Did they destroy anything important though? We still have all the storages. We still have all the stuff out here. The dew collector was good. They just came in here and, and broke all the glass and such. I'll get that fixed up. All right, that is it. I declare victory over the zombies here on the day 20 horde. We now have 10 days to prepare for the next one, which will be pretty much exponentially worse, but we should hopefully have some extra allies, extra equipment, and better firepower for that one. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this adventure and helping me hold the line here at the Wasteland base, and I'll see you a little bit later on this morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.